dance, music, acting. The Grand Bahama Performing Arts Society has given me confidence, hope, support, and motivation to be as creative as I want to be. To know that I am special. I learned to cherish my talents, see the beauty in my craft, and express myself freely. They taught me that I am unique. That I am unique. But appreciated. They gave me once in a lifetime opportunities. And without your help. And without your help. Without your help. I wouldn't be who or where I am today. They work hard. They work hard to help me make my dreams come to life. And see the bigger picture. And see the bigger picture. Because they believe in me. They believe in me. Do you believe in me? Do you? Do you believe in me? Do you believe in me? I am an artist. I am an artist. I am an artist. I'm an artist, and this is my passion. And this is my passion. This is my passion. This is my passion. I am an artist, and this is my passion. The idea for the Performing Arts Society started when I moved to the island and got involved with the performing arts community here, and I was so surprised at how many wonderful teachers, um, mentors, and children we had involved in the arts. What the Society does is to provide quality entertainment for the Grand Bahama community. In turn, we use these funds to award grants and scholarships to young Bahamians who are interested in pursuing the performing arts as a career. Our job is to keep them moving forward. Don't let them just sit on their laurels and say, well, I did this show and everybody thought I was wonderful. You know, we want them to be better than wonderful. Because that's the only way they're going to get out there in the world to do it. The skill level is dramatically different because most of the students I danced with, they dance seven days a week. Some don't go to school because they're attending dance classes. So they take it more seriously than we do. So it was an eye opener to see how much I needed to work on my craft so I could be on their level. Um, it turned out that I had gotten a scholarship from the Concert Chorale. That was pretty exciting because I mean I didn't have any any money and I also had gotten a scholarship from the Grand Bahama Performing Arts Society and so everything worked out. We have given out in our four-year tenure thus far we have given out in grants and scholarships over fifty seven thousand dollars to young people and not only have we sent people abroad but some of those funds have been given to dance schools or schools of music here in Grand Bahama. I think we've grown, uh, but then because of recent financial situation on the island and in the world in general, we've lost some sponsorship money and it was a struggle to decide whether or not we were able to keep going. The entertainment that we bring in is not a form of revenue um, because as you can imagine, to bring entertainment from abroad incurs a great deal of expense. Um, so we really, really, really depend on our sponsors and our members to support us. That's one of our big problems. You know, we have a, a, our economy is not the best. So we do need all the sponsorship we can get. We have another program, which is a competition for young um, performing arts students on the island. They perform before a panel of judges and the top two are given a three-week trip to the French Woods Performing Arts Summer Camp, which is in upstate New York. So many people auditioned, and to be honest, I was intimidated when I first got there because of the amount of talent that I saw that I was going to be competing against. But when I got the email from Miss Gloria and they told me that I got accepted, me and my mother, we were, we were so excited because this is my first time ever traveling to someplace outside of the Bahamas, such as New York, so I was really excited to go. 
Uh, improvisation was, was the main reason why I wanted to get into music. Improvisation in jazz, everything you hear is like composing in, in real time. And I found it to be so fascinating. I see a lot of talent out there. And uh, people come, and, but it's the people that want it. People that want it, like I had a young man this year who has only been with us for now two seasons. And uh, he was a part of a dance group. And he came and auditioned, and, he, and we had him play Tyrone in, in Fame. Then from there, he went into um, Lion King. He played score. I met Miss Gloria the first time, you know, with the dance crew, exclusive crew on. I didn't want to act at first, that's the funny thing. I wasn't interested in acting at all, but she was like, I want you to come to the Regency Theater and I want you to act. You know, I was like drawn back from it. I wasn't used to these kind of things. And I came in and I auditioned and I actually got the lead role with Tyrone Jackson. But I gotta say, throughout it all, you know, I just changed. After Fame the Musical, I just got sucked in theater, you know? It changed my life forever, seriously. We have um, young people who are studying at Berkeley School of Music in Boston, Full Sail University and um, Bethune Cookman, when we interview them when they come home, that they in particular have grown so much. Their experiences help them to become much more uh, self-aware and self-confident and self-assured in whatever it is they decide to do. And all of them are just so appreciative and give us updates on what they're doing and, and remind us how grateful they are that we were able to help them. She's like, honestly, she's like my second mom. <laughs> she sits me down, she teaches me, she installs so much knowledge in me, so much trades of life that I didn't learn from my parents that, you know, she taught me. And I love her so much for that. That's why we do it. And just to see the impact we made on these children and um, it does your heart good. We need the performing arts in order to complete the development of our young people and to give them an appreciation of music, dance, theater. When they see one of their own succeed, they're like, I can do that. And that's part of why we do what we do.